she's watching you eat your taco. Mm. So he's taking a knife or a machete and opening it up. They're making the tortillas for tacos for everybody around this area. Okay, we got our tacos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Salt. We just got the elote. This is a panchada. Contra de bistec. The chorizo is just like a spicy sausage. You'll see it's always red like this. Good morning, buenos dias. From Mexico City. So today is the day that we for sure have been waiting for and maybe you've been waiting for it. We're gonna do a street food tour of Mexican food. We're excited. There is a market called Bazaar. What is it? Bazaar Market. Sabado. Sabado Bazaar. So the Saturday market basically. So we're gonna go over there. And it's in San Angel, which is a area in Mexico City. And apparently there's tons of food different artisans selling their products and maybe some drinks and that is perfect that is exactly what we're looking for <laughs> artisanal foods artisanal products <laughs> tacos margaritas uh, enchiladas we're pretty excited about it it should be pretty crazy in there so now we got to catch an uber and we should be there in 10 or 15 minutes it's pretty close and if you're new to the channel and you like travel videos, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notifications. We're going to be traveling the world and sharing it with you. We just arrived. So far it looks like it's more of an outdoor market, which is pretty cool. People have their stands out and they're selling their arts and crafts. So we're going to go check it out. We're super hungry. So first we're going to start with some food. So it looks like at the Saturday market, all these artists set up and they put their art all over the park here. There must be 20 of them or more. So yesterday, I got this dress at a market and I love it. And these earrings are cool. You can tell everything's actually handmade here. Nothing's the same. It's not like you go to each cart and they're all carrying the same souvenir. They're all very different. Okay, so that area wasn't right for street food. It was a little bit too expensive for us. So we're going to another area, like a 10 minute, 15 minute walk away. And it's seeming a little more local, more locals and not just tourists. So let's see if we can find the street food we've been looking for. More chips. We found our first street food cart. They have coconuts for coconut milk, and they have some sort of what, like cucumber, lemon juice? It's tea? cucumber, pineapple, and lemon juice. So that looked pretty it good as well. Really good. So we're gonna try maybe a coconut, the water straight out of the coconut, and then maybe the crema de coco, which we had yesterday, which has like a milk in it and a little bit of the coconut as well. Let's try them all. Each one is less than a dollar. 15 pesos for a cup that's a decent size. We don't need bigger than that. Okay. Oh. Un grande. Este, este. Que es mejor. So he's taking a knife or a machete and opening it up. This is my first time having coconut water from an actual coconut. This is the only way I like coconut water or coconut milk. So I'm glad Lindsay's trying it finally. Ooh. I've tried coconut water out of a garden oh, yeah. and I don't like it as much. This is good. It's so much better when it's raw, straight out of there, without preservatives, without sugar, or anything extra. 
And you get to drink it right out of the coconut. That is so cool. Okay, next for the crema de coco, the coconut milky, coconut milk water, <laughs> whatever it is. They blend up the coconut with the water. And that's in these. So, un pequeño. Okay, now we're doing the raw coconut water versus the crema de coco coconut milk challenge. Which one's better? I like this one. I prefer the milk because it's actually really oh, cold and good. refreshing mm. and creamy. This one wins for me. Yeah, this one is creamier. It has more sugar or something in it. It's much more sweet than this. This one's just more natural. You can't go wrong with either one. I could drink this all day long. And coconut is good for you, so definitely do this. It's cheap. And now for the last one. The Pepino Limon Piña Juice. Una copa. Gracias. Wow. Oh yeah. That's good. Very flavorful. Wow. You get the pieces of the piña. Yep. Pieces of the cucumber. Mm, so that yeah, it's not just good. a juice. It's like pulpy. You get a lot of textures in there. Yeah. I love that. Wow. Wow. Awesome. I wonder if this is traditional. I've never seen it anywhere else in Mexico. Who knows? Okay, so it was 15, 15, and 15 pesos. So all in all, for all of that, that's about less than $2. That's amazing. This looks good. Hello. So look at this place right here. It looks like they're making the tacos or the tortillas for tacos for everybody around this area. If you look at the street, there are people coming from the other tiendas or the other places that are selling tacos and they're grabbing a bunch from them and they're using them for their own tacos. They have a machine here. You can see at the top, they're putting in the corn or just like the corn mush that they end up making into the taco. It goes through a machine and it comes out the other side and they're just making hundreds right here. Okay, we had a lot of options, but I think we're picking this place on the corner. They have a bunch of meats, a bunch of things. Okay, we got our tacos, yeah. our street tacos finally. I think they're about a dollar each, but pretty good deal. I think they're less. Less than a dollar? They might be eight or ten. Wow. They're probably 50 cents each. I got a pollo and a pork, and it looks like Lindsay got like a beef. How is it? So they usually double it up like this. They double two corn uh, tortillas for the tacos like this in Mexico. They put a little rice if you want it, and then the meat. Mm. The sauces are so good. Look at this chicken one. So a lot of these meats, they kind of marinate them in a sauce, and so you don't even really need a salsa for these. It's like it already comes in it. So much flavor. Peppers, spices, onions.
tried a beef, we tried a chicken, and we tried a pork taco, and now I'm gonna try a chorizo one, which is a little bit spicy, like a spicy sausage. It's usually really good. So this is 14. Okay. All right, let's go outside and eat this. A little bit of limon. Mm. Chorizo. She's watching you eat your tacos. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. One of my favorite tacos so far. Chorizo, it has a lot of spice, a ton of flavor. Really recommend chorizo and some rice. Maiz. Maiz, maiz, maiz. But That's maiz con... Y like tajin or sol or, or que... Eh, or queso... Like, si, sí, queso, or... mayonesa, queso... Chile. So we've heard a lot about elotes, which is a kind of like a corn on the cob, and they put some cheese and chili powder and mayonnaise on it. So we're gonna try this. I'm sure they're gonna give us the options of what we actually want on it. So let's see what we can put on it, what'll look good. Asado or hervido? Estos son hervidos. Which one do you want? Uh, this one. Uh, okay, it's mejor. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. So lime. So lime and chili. Chili powder. Chili powder. Now the salt. Do you want like a, the mayonnaise? Oh, yeah. Maybe like a little bit of chili. chili. We just got the elote. It is 25 pesos, so about a dollar. They sprinkled some salt, chili pepper, and lime on this. So we're gonna give it a try. Mm. A little spicy, but in a good way. A lot of flavor. Mmm, smells good. <laughs> so you can get it without the chili powder. You can get it with mayonnaise. You can get it cooked, uncooked. We're eating semi-healthy street foods today. Try it. Oh yeah, that's awesome. You can really taste the lime on there. And then the spice comes next. Okay, we're getting some pomegranate now. So, just got some pomegranate or granada. This much in this bag for 20 peso, which is about a dollar for all of that. It's already peeled and ready to go. One reason I don't eat pomegranates that much is because it's so hard to eat them. But now it's all ready to go, so that's awesome. So we've been walking around the San Angel area all day, just shopping, looking at all these Mexican souvenirs, these artis artisanal crafts and things. This is awesome. Necklaces, jewelry. So we're looking for some street food and we were pointed in the direction of Mercado del Carmen. So we're gonna go inside here. It doesn't look like it's actually on the street, but 
Mm, there might be food trucks of some sort once you get in there. We are sitting down to get some drinks and food. We got two margaritas. They have a special right now, so two for 120 pesos. Do you know how much that is? Six dollars. So six dollars for two of them. And then we got some food over here, which we'll show you in a second. This is the panacho with cochinita pibil. Right. Is this the aguacate? Yes, this is okay. aguacate. It's a little bit spicy, okay. this is the most spicy, and this is the less spicy, okay. it's the um, tomato with a little bit of uh, spice. Okay, okay. pinchada. Yes, pinchada. Okay. This is onion with cilantro. The panucho is the... Panucho the and pinchada. Tortilla with beans and cochinita pibil. The meat is called cochinita pibil. Okay, we just got our food here. Lindsay, what did you get? This is a panchada with pork belly meat and there's cheese in between the two tortillas. So it's kind of like a quesadilla, but then you put meat on top of it and eat it like a taco. Pretty cool. This is the costra de bistec. So a costra, I guess it's all cheese, it's just fried cheese in there, a couple tortillas, and some meat in the middle. Maybe beans, I don't know. Then we have a panucho. This has some beans on a tortilla and then the meat, which is, which, what's the meat called? Uh, cochinita, I think. I guess. <sighs> And now we have a couple margaritas, our favorite. This is just traditional limon. Mmm. And I got sugar on the top, whereas Lindsay got uh, salt. Always salt with margaritas. <laughs> Mine is more like a like a daiquiri. So this is the contra de bistec, and there's some meat in there, some beef, some beans, and cheese. It's like a fat quesadilla, and I put some hot sauce on there. That's one of the most amazing things I've ever had. <laughs> wow. The longest string cheese I've ever seen. So we know this isn't exactly street food, but it's kind of like a new age street truck place. So each of these ones, they're kind of in a setting that makes them look as if they were a street truck, a food truck, <laughs> a food truck. So, you know, we're not exactly on the street, but we're right off the street. And there are all these little places with all these different foods. And so, I don't know, I think in a way this is kind of like a street food experience. Only because it's been kind of difficult to find street food today. Probably because of COVID. But after this, we're gonna go outside and look for more street trucks or carts. Or food. Or food. Street food. We'll see what we find. Even if it's just like getting some chips on the side of the road or some fruit or something, I think that counts. Yeah. So we'll show you whatever we find. So we just saw this beautiful place. Kind of looks like a church or something. But we saw this from a distance. They have three different uh, domes, duomos, and they're all different colors. There's a blue one, a yellow one, a multicolored, a more like red one. Wow. Reminds me of Barcelona. It's called Iglesia del Carmen. Wow, these look ancient. So, the Church of Carmen, or like the area of Del Carmen. Wow. Look at this. So right now we're on the hunt for more street food. We are just walking all around the city trying to find something we want. Most of them seem to be closing. Or they have the same thing, which is just tacos everywhere. Can't complain. So I'm gonna get another chorizo taco because I love them so much. Look at the flame over here.
One of the most popular tacos, it seems here, is when they cut it off of a rotisserie. So like this. So you'll see him just rolling that thing around and cutting thin slices off for the tacos. And they make a ton of those. Okay, gracias. So this is pastor, one of the most popular ones you see it everywhere on this rotisserie here. And it looks like the salsas and everything is on the other side. Take a look at this. So me, I'm simple. I just like the rojo salsa every time. Chorizo tacos. Usually they put cilantro on here, but I just got the onion on there. And chorizo is just like a spicy sausage. You'll see it's always red like this. And of course, they always double up the tacos in Mexico. The tortillas. Mmm, wow. Very spicy, especially with the sauce I put on there. A lot of times the rojo sauces, they're very, very spicy. Mm. So we've done the best that we could showing you street food for the day in Mexico City and we're gonna take an Uber home but on the way if we see anything we're gonna ask the Uber driver to stop because in other areas there might be random street food that they don't have here. I'm just enjoying this taco. Alex is in love with tacos. Mm. But not cilantro. No, no. What, what was the thing? Okay, that's the end of our street food tour. We didn't get to try a ton, but we'll probably find more tomorrow. We're still gonna be in Mexico City for another day, so make sure to watch the next video where I'm sure we'll eat some other great food and we'll do a couple things. We've been loving Mexico City. It's awesome. We wish we had more time here. Mexico City has been really good to us while we have been here and we're excited for tomorrow. So please like this video if you liked it, it really helps us out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next video. Can you click on my taco? Or do you have a... Can you click on my taco? And then the spice comes next and just stays in your mouth. Mm, mouth. Mouth. So we've been walking around the sun... Sun and... Probably... Probably... Probably. We'll see what we find. Even if. Hey guys, we can only do so much on YouTube and we only put out a video every two or three days. So if you want more, if you want daily stuff, you should head to Instagram. Find us at Alexander Travel Bum. And that's where you'll find daily stories and photos about our travels. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.